As you may know, there have been recent changes to the license enforcement for Microsoft Teams Rooms devices. User licenses that have been assigned to Teams Rooms devices need to be replaced by either a Teams Rooms Basic or Teams Rooms Pro license before July 1st, 2023. This also applies to executives using a user subscription license who will need to convert to a Teams Rooms license. In this video, we'll show you how to find out which licenses are currently assigned to your Teams Rooms devices using a PowerShell script. The PowerShell script will help you to find out which resource accounts in Microsoft Teams have certain licenses assigned to them and then report those results back to you in a CSV file. To start, visit aka.ms slash mtr license notice learn. Scroll down to the code box and copy the code by selecting copy. Once you have copied the code, open a text editor such as VS Code or even Notepad on your computer and paste in the script. Now save the file. Remember when using Notepad, be sure to select all files in the save as type drop down menu. Now save the file as meeting room license checker dot ps1 in your preferred location. Make sure to remember this location for the next step. Once you have downloaded the script, open PowerShell by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard. Search for PowerShell and select open as administrator. In PowerShell, you want to execute the following command. This sets the execution policy to bypass for the current PowerShell session so that the script can be executed even though it's not digitally signed. It will then also execute the script itself in its current PowerShell session. As the script starts to run, you will be prompted to log into your Microsoft 365 tenant. Note that the script requires Exchange Administrator, Global Reader, or Global Admin Rights. The script will only read data and it does not make any changes to your environment. Once you are logged in, you will start seeing an overview of your resource accounts sorted by licensing type. The last bucket will show you licenses other than Teams Rooms licenses, which should be replaced by either a Teams Rooms Basic or Teams Rooms Pro license before July 1st, 2023. To export the result, select Y for yes and save the file to your preferred location. Now you will have a clear understanding of which licenses are assigned to your Teams Rooms devices and allow you to take the necessary steps to ensure that your devices will continue to function properly.